The Los Angeles Lakers are defined by superstars. Brian Tillman has to put it up with the buzzer. Banks it in! <laughs> he banks in the three! In fact, of the 75 players selected to the NBA's anniversary team, 17 donned the purple and gold at some point during their career. Baylor, West, Chamberlain, Magic, Kareem, Worthy, Rodman, Shaq, Kobe, Malone, Peyton, Nash, LeBron. James drives. James is fouled! Davis, Mello, and Westbrook. And according to some prominent NBA insiders, Luka is next up. Doncic maneuvers for the lead. Got it! Got it! What a shot! The Lakers are always big game hunting for stars. This is a seismic shift in the league. The, the best player in the NBA going from the East to the West. But their success rate under Rob Palinka has been questionable at best. Remember how Kawhi was obviously going to go to the Lakers? LeBron and Kawhi have a very good relationship. They've been texting throughout the year. Obviously, Kawhi has worked out from time to time with Kobe. He grew up a Laker fan. He's communicated with Magic on many, many occasions as well. Well, he chose the Lakers' crosstown rivals, the Clippers. Leonard gets the steal, three on one. Kawhi. <laughs> Remember when a clearly over the hill Clay Thompson was supposed to join the Lakers? Remember LeBron being willing to take a sizable pay cut to make it happen? Well, he took less to play in Dallas. Clay Thompson is on his way to the Dallas Mavericks, I'm told. And remember how DeMar DeRozan was gonna move heaven and earth to finally go home? I mean, I'm, I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I wanted to come home, you know? did try to make it happen. There's a real possibility on it happening. You know, just things didn't work out. You know what I mean? Well, he went to the smallest market team in California, the Sacramento Kings. So when the ringers Kevin O'Connor reported that the Lakers were targeting Luka. They have their sights set for Luka in the future. Some brushed it off as the Lakers just being the Lakers. But there is actually some fire behind this smoke. Luka has a player option at the end of his contract. Hasn't committed long term to Dallas. Got it from Kleba. Again late in the clock. In desperation. He makes it up. And that is and the Lakers are one of only a handful of teams that can make a compelling pitch for him to leave. Luka cares about winning. I hate losing, we hate losing, but I'm proud of my team. Well, since the NBA-ABA merger, the Lakers have won 11 NBA championships, more than any other team in the NBA. This is nearly double the second place Bulls and Celtics, who have six apiece. Banner number 18 has been secured. The Celtics are NBA champions. And considerably more than the Dallas Mavericks, who have managed to win just once. Los Angeles is the second largest NBA market, with nearly twice the population of Dallas. Numbers for the Lakers. Braves alley of James with the throwdown. The Lakers, unlike their crosstown rival Clippers, are also one of the NBA's few legacy franchises. We know Luka has a flair for theatrics. And that drew rim. He's a loud personality. Luca drives on McDaniels with a lean, a foul, and a deuce. Counting and like, foul. And look, he's having words with Snoop. Now Snoop appreciating the work <laughs> being put in. Maybe Hollywood isn't out of the question. And just to add a bit of fuel to the flame, Luca considered LeBron James to be his favorite player and idol growing up. The Lakers have a huge international following beyond North America. What's your favorite team? The Curse. Who do you think is going to win the NBA Finals next season? Of course, I'm gonna say the Lakers. Basketball is going global, and the Lakers and Knicks present the biggest branding opportunities for athletes looking to tap into that. And for once, the Lakers actually have the assets to facilitate a sign and trade, despite having two of the best players in the league begging for help. Alley up again, and Davis throws it down. The Lakers have been reluctant to trade future draft picks. They currently control their own picks in 2026, 2028, 2030, and 2031. And if history is any indication, they don't intend on those picks to draft college freshmen and international projects. They're saving those picks for a future around Luka. Here's Luka. Gets it away. It's gone. As it currently stands, the Lakers have only four contracts on the books for the 2026 offseason. Anthony Davis. Baby, quick move with the baseline. Throw it down, big fella. 
Jared Vanderbilt. Look at that length, athleticism, the ability to stay in front, big time by Jared Vanderbilt. Max Christie. Open in the corners, they're going to be Christie again. Yes, sir! And Austin Reeves' player option. Seconds, Reeves, it'll kind of a goes. Ah! With the new TV rights deal and pending cap explosion, they have more than enough cap space to sign Luca outright. 27 point lead, down goes Johnson, three lead oh, no. oh no. And all the draft picks and small assets to find a third star to pair with him and Davis. But Luca is a maverick, and there's a pretty appealing case to stay in Dallas. His relationship with the front office may have strained when the Mavericks opted to tank in 2023. That loss eliminates Dallas from playing tournament contention. But that faith was immediately rewarded when Dallas landed their center of the future in Derek Lively. Doncic with another three, no, it's Lively! And immediately went from the lottery to the NBA Finals. His budding relationship with Kyrie Irving has also been worthy of focus. The two have grown close off the court and brought out the best in each other's games on the court. He runs into Luka, Luka on the floor, finds Kyrie! Fantastic! Way to finish that hustle play! General Manager Nico Harrison deserves flying grades for the work he's done, building around Doncic since taking over in 2021. Um, you know, we're committed to, to building a, a, a winning organization that has championship aspirations. From smart draft moves like Jaden Hardy, Omax Prosper, and the aforementioned Derek Lively, to trading for players like Kyrie Irving and PJ Washington for 20 cents on the dollar, to appointing Jason Kidd to be the Mavericks coach, Harrison has earned Luka's trust. And if Luka cares at all about organizational stability and team management, Nico Harrison has significantly outperformed Rob Palinka over the past three years. So will it happen? Three against Davion Mitchell. Gonna go to work inside, and that's why! Will Luka Doncic force his way to Los Angeles and follow in the footsteps of Shaq? Against Dudley, nice! LeBron. It's a shot in history. And it is. LeBron stands alone. And Anthony Davis. On the move, Reeves. Back to Davis for the lead. Good! He got it to go! Or will he take the path of other international superstars and stay with one franchise? Hakeem spent his prime with the Rockets. Trying to turn baseline. He oh, that up. Oh, I tell you, Elijah Wan has David Robinson. Just bamboozled. Nowitzki stayed with Dallas his entire career. Nowitzki guarded by Duncan. Are you kidding me? That was so well defended. Manu and Tony spent their prime in San Antonio. Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic are still with the teams that drafted them. Jokic just gets it off in time. It's up. Oh, it's good. Of course it goes in. Not only has the new CBA made it less common for superstars to jump ship, we've never really seen an international superstar leave their team in free agency. But there's a first time for everything. Luka isn't like most international superstars. Doncic fakes, bumps, fires, good! He wasn't a 16-year-old project who learned how to play basketball later on. He wasn't an overlooked international prospect who was picked in the second round during a Taco Bell commercial. Clock takes, gotta put one up. Jokic for the win. Oh, it's good! Luka was basketball royalty, a generational prospect at age 15. <laughs> Dobrik step back, three pointer for the game. You eat that! the youngest EuroLeague MVP ever. And just because the Suns and Kings passed on him, it doesn't mean Luka was any less generational than LeBron or Wemby as a prospect. By Trey Jones, running the floor, Jeremy lobs it up, Victor throws it down! Luka was and is a basketball prodigy. Here's the step back for a new Maverick record! They are seeing a night they will never forget that we will never Forget. And we know prodigies move to their own beat. Luca has much more in common with LeBron James and Kevin Durant than he does with Embiid and Jokic. He didn't become a star in his mid-20s. He's been a star since he was a teenager. Got it. There it is. In the corner, Luca! Oh! Goes in! How did he do it? How did he 
Can he do it? Add in the fact that he already has a strong relationship with Lakers' new head coach, J.J. Redick. But it's too expensive to get a haircut these days. <laughs> it's not too expensive. It's a hundred. Slovenia is like twelve dollars. You need to find a new bar barber. And the Lakers might actually be cooking with gas for once. Does Kyrie Irving go back to doing Kyrie Irving things? Does the Klay Thompson signing backfire? Do the Mavericks follow up a finals berth in 2024 with a disaster season in 2025? Whatever happens for the Mavericks with Luka, the Lakers will be waiting in the wings to make their pitch. To start, shot clock at six, James on Doncic. From magic to LeBron to Luca, the script pretty much writes itself. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, be the goat of that moment. Stay goated.